So guys, step inside this particular cabin of the Prado and I can tell you Toyota have worked extremely hard just to make sure that it feels as premium as a German competition. Plenty of wood and leather trim on the steering wheel as well as some inserts on the dashboard gives this car that expensive look. When you're buying a car for this amount of money, you definitely want to feel that you're getting value for money. You can even tell you on the center console, you do have a piano black finish around the touch system. Again, emphasizing on that, and then you do have also some stainless steel plastic trim, even on the gearbox as well. All this is made sure that you feel that you're buying a premium product. Speaking of infotainment system, this particular car has this multi-touch color display that houses several key functions. You can do the setup over here, so it will give you a general information on the home screen, your display, connectivity on Bluetooth and telephone. If you go back, you do have an ecosystem that will give you the range and how you're driving, so your fuel consumption, your average speed, uh, cruising range and elapsed time while driving this particular car. And now, the most important, sound. Guys, I'm an audiophile, I love sound. So, I'm going to play something here. <laughs> Boss, I can tell you for a fact that this particular car has an amazing sound. Just beneath the center display, you do have some settings. These settings are for four-wheel drive. Uh, you do have a VSC, Vehicle Stability Control, which is ESP in Toyota terms. You do have the KDDS suspension setting, which allows you to raise the Prado up and down depending on the configuration of the road and the tarmac it doesn't really matter again you do have a switchable 4x4 system where you can toggle between 4 high and 4 low depending on the terrain that you are driving into you do have also rock and crawl systems and of course hill descent and diff lock this car i can tell you it's a proper 4x4 and that's why many people love it the instrument binnacle at the front has got clear and precise italics to make sure that you receive and get all the information, critical ones, from the engine to the performance of the vehicle. It will give you all the details that you need. That is very important. Now again, you do have a powered seat, a memory power seat, and of course, a steering wheel that corresponds with it. So if you switch off the vehicle, you know, it will adjust accordingly for easy entry and exit of the vehicle. Big boy on a Joakona. Some, you know, so the steering helps you position and be comfortable in the Prado. Now this particular car sits with seven people, seven full-size adults, not kids at the back, full-size adults. The good thing about that, it actually lied down the second row seat for much more luggage space when carrying stuff. As you traverse a bit of country of Kenya, you even have, for convenience, you do have this. A sunroof, guys, if you love sunroofs, then this is, this is the one for you. I know our politicians love the Prado because of this, because they can hang out and say one inch, one inch. So it's actually a good feature when buying this particular car. That's how they feel on the road. So the boot of the Prado is quite spacious, as you can see. You can load all your groceries, products from the farm, you name it. This particular Prado can carry it. That said, remember the seven seats I was talking about? You can now unfold them from the floor using this. So it's an electronically powered seat adjuster which is a point where you are able to adjust the seat without the hassle of pulling and toggling things from the floor and you can see, it. see it's quite comfortable it's got some head and leg room over as well and then you can just push it down once you're done and they fall flat so that you can carry all your equipment your stuff from the shamba i mean practicality is the name of the game and the prado has it we're not going to find out if this particular car can be the king of the Kenyan road. Find me as we talk with Mr. Mirigi, who is my guest as well on this particular show. And we're going to test the KDDS, the four-wheel drive system, and so much more. Keep it cars with Big Boy Travel. This particular car is loved by many because of its inherent capabilities off-road. If you've watched movies and you've seen uh, soldiers and, and all those of guys using this particular car in the desert, there's a reason for that. It's because it's tough, it's durable, it's reliable. And that's the thing, that's the thing with the Land Cruiser. So today on this occasion we are testing the new version, the 2018-2019 version of the Prado and the one we are driving is a top spec version and it has all the bells and whistles including sunroof, leather seats, touchscreen information, dual zone air conditioning. It's got a transfer case with multi-terrain select. You can select any form of traction for your vehicle. It's got a diff lock, it's got everything. It's got air suspension. 
not really air, but it's 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 pneumatic per se. That's it. Let's talk about the power first. I'm more keen about the power. So up front, it's powered by a, two, a choice of two engines. You can either have it in the 1GD family or or the 1KD family, which is proven and reliable in Africa. Now the 1KD FTV produces, guess what, 120 kilowatts and 420 meters of torque. And all that is sent to the four wheels get to see of a six-speed automatic, which has a two-case transfer box that allows you to, you know, uh, switch traction either on the front axle or the rear axle, depending on the terrain and so on and so forth. That is so important because um, you're able to extract the full potential of that 1KD engine. It works well in high altitude like areas like Nairobi and even better um, on sea level in Mombasa or the coastal areas. The thing that you think about is off-road capability. Yes. But uh, in 2019, as I'm sitting in this leather seat <laughs> with cooling, yeah, I can even hear and, the and this and this this you know uh, this driving position where I have very clear yes. sights uh, sight lines of everything that's going around here. Yes. I mean, the, the 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 number one thing that people are buying this car for in 2019 is the luxury, and I have to say it's it's delivering on that. I mean, we are in, we are in an urban environment right now. We are on the roads. Uh, the Matatu is not trying to cut into us because we're in the Prado. <laughs> As in, it's, it's, it's really so far been a really fantastic experience. This is actually almost anticlimactic because you're thinking about the four-wheel drive capability, you're thinking about what it can do off-road, you're thinking about that transfer case, that low range. But right now when I'm sitting in this seat, um, I mean, it's, 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 it's luxury. And, and it's luxury at a level I was not expecting from the Japanese. There's a lot of competition in this segment. And of course, Toyota had to step up so that it is able to appeal to that uh, crowd that love and appreciate the finer things in life, the luxurious part of the vehicle, the leather seats. Uh, like he just said, we just he just put on the cooling seats on the seat and the bum feels very cool, you know? You know what I mean? That said, we're going to go off-road and sample this particular car and once we do that, we'll give you guys our Maoni concerning this car, if it has value for money preposition and would you pick it over the rivals. So guys, we are now in the Prado and we are now embarking on an off-road challenge on Gong Hills and we're about to test the full capability of this Toyota Prado. There's a reason why people love it, it's because it's tough and capable. So right now we're on 4 high, we're about to enjoy uh, traction and if we get stuck we're going to use 4 low because it's permanent 4 wheel drive. So Mirigi, what are your highlights of this particular Prado? Man, as in, you know, you would expect that I'd be excited about the off-road capability, but the car is actually very comfortable. That's the thing that has really surprised me this, this entire time. When we were on tarmac, even now when we are off-road, it's, it's really comfortable. The suspension seems to be, you know, taking us really well. And then now just the, 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 the thought of the fact that we are okay in terms of if anything happens, you can lock the center diff, you can lock the rear diff. And the engine has been really good so far, giving us clean, smooth power. Because right now we are going uphill and it's had no, there's no point in time when you have to stretch. And speaking of suspension, this particular car has front wishbones and at the back you do have a multi-link rear suspension attached to a live axle. So wheel articulation is fantastic and of course on-road manners as we tested earlier when you are coming to Ngong Hills. That said, this particular car has something called KDDS. What is KDDS? Kinetic Dynamic Suspension System. It allows us to raise or lower the car. We actually have raised the car just so that we can, just in case we get into anything. So we have raised the car, we're on four high. Seems so far, it's handling everything we are throwing at it right now. So we've extensively tested the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado and I can tell you its off-road capabilities are its strong point. I'm even impressed with the quality of this particular car. Now, you want to know the price, tell us. Prices for the Prado start at 9.2 million for the range and please do remember that this comes with a warranty. 100,000 kilometers or three years, whichever comes first. But Trev, before you talk about pricing, what are the competitors in this segment? In this segment, the Ford Everest and the Mitsubishi Pajero Sport are the key competitors. Very competitive segment, so everybody's trying to outdo each other, but you can always rely on Toyota's extensive network, parts and service to give you a peace of mind when driving this particular Prado. Your final thoughts about My this? My final thoughts about this car is that it's a great all-rounder, full seven-seater, you can carry your entire family. It's a great car for the four-wheel drive enthusiast as well as the amateur, and it's something that you should definitely consider. Make sure you pass by Toyota Kenya on Mombasa Road and give it a look.
guys that's it for today's show thank you so much for joining us on this edition if you have any questions comments about this review and the show don't hesitate to write to us i see it on the social media handles below so until next week drive safe be safe i'm rigi and a big boy trev hasta la vista baby